Okay, so we put the clutch cover back on, sprocket cover. So we're gonna leave that one off until now. Let me get this all up. Man, that grease stink, bro. Okay. Now to install the wrist sprocket. show you a good way how it will never fail a lot of people and they really almost hurt themselves because they don't know how to install these correctly or they mess up their rims you know a lot of stuff like that Basically, the key to this, to these rag adapters, the only thing you gotta do, man, is go every other screw when you tighten it up. Bam, bam, bam. And then once, yeah, it's simple, bro. Okay, now, you should have two bushings. One of them you must pick, put the slit in, use the wire cutter. Supposed to cut the thickest one, just the thickest one right here. <laughs> Please don't try to use scissors. Yeah, don't try to use scissors, man. Okay now, so you got one cut in half, that one go on the inside, other one go on the outer side, next, half moon, the thing goes right here, hmm, let me scoot up some. Just like that. On your sprocket. As you can see. I like the little dention part. You want that on the outside. I forgot what it's called. Better to do it without the club. Make it be small low. Trust me, man. It's gonna be hard for you to do it like your first time. Cause you're trying to get your fingers inside them little spokes. It's, it's real hard. Okay, now it's good. Move on to the next one. You want to do that for all nine. Line them up. But don't tighten them up right away. You know, you wait. You just wait. Okay. One more thing. The screws 
do not go in like this from the back. They go in from the inside. They go through it. Reason being, because if they're sticking out, then they're going to hit your rear on your bike. That's the reason. Okay, so finally, I almost finished putting the screws on all of them. Next, you want to make sure this is centered. This is the main thing that we're looking for right here. To keep it centered while, while you tighten it. And as we tighten it, we're going to go every other boat. Then skip one. Go every other boat again. Keep going. It's going to move, but you got to move it as you tighten it. Because it might get like that when you tighten it. Then you're going to have to unloosen some and center it back. Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Man, you got to be so easy with that drilled up, bro. That drill powerful. As you can see, it's not wobbling to the left or the right. Make sure I get a good camera angle. See, it's not no wobble from left or right. Making sure it's not going to the left or to the right. But if your sprocket is going like left or right, back and forth like that, then that mean it, it ain't been tamed down evenly. But if it's going up and down, that mean your sprocket ain't centered. 